Hello viewers from around the globe and welcome back to the Matt Vid Pro channel. Today we're going to be looking at not an image AI, I know I do a lot of text image AI stuff on this channel, but we're actually going to be looking at a music AI that's actually not very new. This came out on April 25th, 2019, and this AI is actually, as you can see, made by OpenAI, the same company that made Dolly 2 and GPT-3 at text AI. So this AI is actually very interesting. As you can see, when we start to read MuseNet, which is free for you guys to use, by the way, link down in the description, it says, we've created MuseNet, a deep neural network that can generate four minute musical compositions with 10 different instruments and can combine styles from country to Mozart to the Beatles. MuseNet was not explicitly programmed with our understanding of music, but instead discovered a patterns of harmony, rhythm, and style by learning to predict the next token in hundreds of thousands of MIDI files. So this AI was trained on MIDI files, and if you guys don't know what a MIDI file is, a MIDI file is basically a file format that provides a standardized way for music sequences to be saved, transported, and opened in other systems. So you could take a MIDI file from your phone and then transfer it to your computer and then transfer it to another computer or something like that. It's just a standardized music file. You know, it's not similar to like something like an MP3, but it's, it's got the musical notes basically in the file. That's sort of a very rough explanation. And what's actually more interesting is that MuseNet uses the same general purpose unsupervised technology as GPT-2. So that's OpenAI's previous text model from GPT-3. It's a large scale transformer model trained to predict the next token in a sequence whether audio or text. So basically this is like GPT-2, but the same technology in a music MIDI file generator. So right here we actually have a few different samples that we can look at. I believe that these are text prompts then generated into music. So the prompt here was first five notes of Chopin OP 10 number nine. I don't really know much about music, so I don't know. I guess that's something famous in the music world. Let's take a listen. So listening to 15 seconds of that, I mean, you can definitely tell that it's not like some professional, amazing composition, but you can't really tell that it's made by AI. I mean, it's just music notes, right? Um, but honestly, I mean, there's definitely some musical rhythm in there. It sounds like music to me. It sounds sort of like maybe a kid playing on a piano or like one of those gifted kids where they can just like hear a song and then immediately play it on the piano. I don't know if you've ever seen those people. But yeah, I mean, it's not every note is perfect, but there's definitely like the bass there and understands music at least in some sort of way. So this next one is jazz piano, bass, and drums. So as you guys can see with the jazz piano and bass and drums, it actually does quite a lot better. I don't know, um, you know, if musically that's a little bit more simple to compose. You music experts in the comments could actually explain that to me and let me know in the comments. I'd be very interested to know. But yeah, it's got that jazzy rhythm. It really is able to capture the sound of jazz, which is really quite incredible, to be honest. This is a very advanced AI, and I'm surprised that I haven't heard about it before. It's also very important to point out here that the AI isn't making the instrument sounds itself in the MIDI file that sound is located, if that makes any sense. So the sounds that you're hearing, the bass and the piano and the drums and stuff like that, is not AI-generated sound. The AI is just composing those instruments that already exist in the MIDI file, if that makes sense. So this next sample is bluegrass, piano, guitar, bass, and drums. And that one, in my opinion, is also almost as flawless as the jazz, piano, and drums sample. 
which is really quite incredible. That one is very fast paced. I don't know if it's more difficult to create fast paced versus slow paced. We really don't know the limitations of this AI, but it definitely can create some musical works that are usable in many different applications, or at least a good base to start off of, because of course you can download the MIDI file in the creator, which I'll show later in the video, and you know, use it to create your own works. And finally, we have prompt first six notes of Rashman. Again, I don't know what that is. That could be a famous musical work. I'm no musician person, so you, you musician fans, you music fans down in the comments, We'll have to fill me in on a little bit of what this might be, but let's take a listen. So again, I think some of these more um, complicated pieces like this prompt right here or the chopping prompt is sort of being a little bit more difficult for the AI, where if you just say like general, like piano, bass, drums, it's able to pick up on that a little bit easier. I think it's just the more specific uh, music that's giving the AI a little bit harder of a time, but that by no means was a bad generation for the AI. I, I still think that's a usable uh, musical work, and I really like these two middle ones, I think. My favorite's definitely the jazzy one. Anyways, it goes on to say, Since MuseNet knows many different styles, we can blend generations in novel ways. Here the model is given the first six notes. Okay, it's actually going to be explaining what I was confused about. So chopping, nocturne, um, but is asked to generate a piece in a pop style with piano, drums, bass, and guitar. The model manages to blend the two styles convincingly with a full band joining in around the 30 second mark. Okay, so that is this piece right here. So we will see how it uh, manages to pull off this crazy musical work. Coming up to the 30 second mark. Wow, I have to say I'm actually very impressed with that. That's really, really interesting. It takes the first six notes and then it's able to convincingly transfer that with the piano, the drums, the bass, and the guitar. It's crazy how it's able to blend those two styles. That was like a really nice little music piece, actually, in my opinion. I think it'd be nice for like a video game, like a slower, like point and click style mystery video game. That's that's kind of the vibe I was getting uh, from that musical piece. I don't know what you guys are getting for a vibe from that, but let me know in the comments. So now we get to the finally try MuseNet piece. We're excited to see how musicians and non-musicians alike will use MuseNet to create new compositions. In simple mode, which is what we get down here, you'll hear random uncurated samples that we've generated. Choose a composer or style or an optional start of a famous piece and start generating. This lets you explore the variety of musical styles the model can create. In advanced mode, which of course is a mode you can switch over to, you can interact with the model directly. The completions will take longer, but you'll be creating an entirely new piece. So yeah, this is some very advanced stuff. So we've got this pre-generation right here. Uh, so this is the style of Chopin, uh, starting with Mozart's Rondo Al Turca. And when we press this little arrow button right here, it will begin to generate. And as you can see, it actually works very fast here in the simple mode. In advanced mode, it's a little bit more slow. So again, this is trying to do this style of chopping with Mozart's Rondo. And if we just click right here, it will begin to play. And we can see what this AI has generated for us. So interestingly, it's not really as good as the examples that we saw up above, but it's actually still very impressive. You know, of course, this first little start, we all know that Mozart piece, it's a very famous piece. I'm sure all of you have heard of it, but it actually recognizes the two style pieces up here and then mimics them right up here. 
in this part of the song, which is really interesting to see. So similar to Dolly 2, when you generate with this AI, you don't just get one generation, you actually get multiple ones. So if we click through here, we can see another variation of this same exact prompt, quote unquote. So let's give this one a listen. Okay, the AI went absolutely ham at the end there. But as you can see, it's crazy with the same exact prompt how different variations can be. And again, we see this with other AIs too, such as Dolly 2, for example. But again, you can see how it's sort of taking the same notes and copying them over and over to try to create a new musical piece. And it's actually like, it looks very simple. You know, when we take a look here at the screen and we can see the individual notes, but what it's doing is much more complex than you would be able to guess. We can see another variation here. We'll give this one a listen. This one decided not to include any extra instruments. So interestingly enough, that one's a little bit more simple, but I think it definitely pulled it off. And this one looks crazy here. So, you know, obviously it gets a little bit messed up as the farther you get in, but at first there it was doing something pretty unique and pretty creative, I think. Uh, yeah, I think this AI in general is very creative and there is definitely quite a lot of possibilities and honestly guys, I would absolutely love to see what you make uh, if you guys do decide to test out and mess around with this AI. Please feel free to join my Discord which is linked down below in the description of this video and send all of your files in there. I would absolutely love to see them. So this AI is obviously capable of a lot more than just this simple generation as they were talking about earlier. There is an advanced mode here which gives us more options. So I honestly just like the advanced mode. It's still very simple, very easy to use. So right up here we can change the style from Chompin. I think we should pick Disney for this next one we're going to do and then of course we have the intro so this is the first piece of music that we're allowed to generate from you actually can upload your own music into this so when I go in here you can go down and upload your own MIDI file so if you guys are any musicians maybe and you have MIDI files that you've created or you can always just download MIDI's off of uh, the internet and upload them for yourself and see what it can make with them, which is really nice to see. It's nice that you know you can create your own composition and see if the AI can fill in the rest for you. But I'm not a musician and I'm not too familiar with MIDI files, although I've heard they're very simple to use. So I will be using one of these presets or we can actually go none and start from scratch. So that means the entire piece of music is going to be generated with the AI, which is super interesting. We'll start with Lady Gaga's Poker Face, and we're gonna do this in the style of Disney. So the instruments here, we can actually add more instruments by clicking them. As you can see, they're highlighted now. When we unclick them, it will get rid of that instrument. So let's just try all of the instruments. Let's see, what can it do with literally the piano, the strings, the winds, the drums, the harp, the guitar, and the bass. And by the way, this last one down here is number of tokens. So this is how long the generation could possibly be. So we can go up to 255 in the middle here, 400 at the max, and at the low end, 50. I'll just leave it pretty much right in the middle at 225. So generating can take up to a minute. Uh, we're going to try Disney, Lady Gaga's Poker Face, and it will generate for us. Okay, so that was actually pretty quick. 225 tokens isn't a huge piece of music, but again, you, you could extend it all the way out here. And with this button right here, by the way, you can expand the music you've already generated. So interestingly enough, it was able to continue Lady Gaga's poker face in an interesting way, I think. I'm not really getting the Disney vibe, so we'll see if we get any of that from any of these other generations, like this one, which got some random instruments in there.
Wow, I guess that could be like a Disney villain maybe at the the end there, but it's really interesting. It just cuts off the piano and then continues the same rhythm though, just with another instrument. So that's a really interesting choice that I think the AI made there. I actually like this one, so I'm going to click the generate again button and we can generate it further. And by the way, this AI seems to be completely free for anyone to use. Again, I'll link it down below. And AI is just allowing us to play around with it. Open AI, that is. All right, so it has generated further and we will play from there and see how this thing did. Wow, it actually continued it pretty well there. I like the inclusion of the uh, string instruments towards the end. Okay, so it actually just generated four more variations of this. So you guys are gonna be careful of that or you'll just lose your generations. Let's see what this one did. Wow, very cool stuff, guys. This thing seems to be a ton of fun to mess around with. And again, I would love to hear what you guys generate for music, so please, please, if you do decide to generate stuff, join my Discord with the link in the description and send it over to me. But yeah, this is a very cool little tool. Again, a lot of options, completely free to use, and it's a very, very interesting AI. Anyways, getting to the end here, some MuseNet limitations include the instruments you ask for are strong suggestions, not requirements. So MuseNet generates each note by calculating the probabilities across all possible notes and instruments. The model shifts to make your instrument choices more likely, but there's always a chance it will choose something else, which I don't think necessarily is a bad thing. This could also be a strong suit, you know, letting its own creativity flow out and generate something that sounds good, what it thinks sounds good as an AI. MuseNet has a more difficult time with odd pairings of styles and instruments, such as chop-in with bass and drums, Generations will be more natural if you pick instruments closest to the composer's band or usual style. So yeah, this is obvious. You know, trying to combine two different wacky styles together is going to yield in worst generations usually because that's a more difficult thing to do. But honestly, it was able to do that pretty, uh, pretty good earlier in the video as we heard. And as you can see, there's a different map of some different styles and composers and we can see how they actually relate to another, which is really cool. We can see the, the different strings attached to each other. And this is, of course, sort of like a map of what the AI was able to learn listening to different music pieces. But yeah, they're sort of start to get into the uh, the details of this stuff, a little bit more of the technical stuff. So you guys want to read all this. Uh, it's right here on the page, but I will 100% link this down below for you guys. It's really awesome and fun to play around with. And uh, yeah, if you guys liked this video, make sure to leave it a like and, you know, leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think. Check out a few of my other videos and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.